camp and uh, my lovely wife is with me here. But she doesn't have a crazy name like Juice or the Squid no, no. or the Arroyo River Rat. So uh, she's just a plain old simple person. There you go. And uh, today is Good Friday. And not, is it Good Friday or Black Friday? Black Friday. Black, excuse me, Black Friday. Day after Thanksgiving. And uh, the weather the next two days is going to be not too good. Um, actually, it's going to be raining. So today is like the, yeah, I guess the, uh, for the weekend, it's the only opportunity that we got to come out and do this. Now, Juice and I came out here Sunday, and uh, we caught a couple of fish apiece, but it was nothing to really make a video about, so I just kind of set that video aside, and uh, we're going to try again today. Uh, as, as we go further into winter, Kitchen fish becomes harder and harder, but uh, we'll do our best. We're off on our way to the uh, spot we're going to try today. cast over there if you can it's ready that looks like a redfish working in there is it He might hear it. Oh, there's another one working the bank up. Yeah. Wow, look at that. They're all on the bank there. Yeah. Are we? 
Yeah, I just, uh, I haven't uh, got us going yet here. Coming in. Yeah, you can. Wow. Yeah, you can smell them. Oh, that's right. That's over there. Oh, no. Okay, so we arrive. The fish are busting up the bank, and uh, oh, we're getting situated here. It looks like, man, it's just awesome. On the fourth cast, I wrap it around a limb, and uh, you know, I, I before I even take off to go fishing, usually. I always make sure my rods are, or my reels, rods and reels are <clears throat> completely rigged and ready to go. And, uh, I think I brought five or six and, uh, we were only using two at the time. So I said, you know, I said, no problem. So I reached down to go grab my other rod and it <clears throat> somehow the, the, uh, braid got cut on that one. So then I go reach and grab another rod, but not the best starts. And it's really hard to stay calm when you got all those fish busting up the banks. Oh, damn, man, this is, this thing's got all hosed up here too. <laughs> Doesn't take much to get these things going. Huh? Here's another tip. When you have that line out there in the water you want to stop the trolling motor you don't want that propeller to to spin because it's, if it hicks up that line it's going to wrap it up into the motor itself so you definitely want to stop the propeller from spinning huh. <clears throat> Not a good start, is it? <laughs> Fish are moving all over the place. I, second cast, I hung in a tree. Yeah. Mm. Gotta wonder where that butt was.
You have a bite? Man, you can smell those fish. Wow, see that? They are working the bank. Ooh, I don't. Yeah, I did. I had a double tail bite. You can feel that tail go boom, boom. It's been a while since I've seen the bait work like this. <sighs> Ooh. Oh, it's a stick. <laughs> that gum. Am I? Huh? Am I? Ooh, right there, God. Yeah. yeah. See if I can get one casted in there. Yeah. Ah, there we go. Ooh, look at that. Try a different lure. <clears throat> No, it's not. much bay I saw working the shore there I'm kind of surprised neither one well, you had a bite right I don't know what that is like is that a bird Oh, 
Only thing, I, it's the water's a bit, quite a bit lower than you can see the shoreline with the. It's probably about 12 inches lower than what it usually is. Well, when we got back to the boat ramp, we noticed that the water had dropped significantly. So there was a pretty strong outgoing tide going on, and uh, the water was lower than what it had been in the past when we were fishing out there. Uh, it may have an effect, but still, when we first got there, the fish were really working the bank. Is that there? Yeah, it was right here. Hold on, I'm getting at it. No. Wow. I got one. I got one. All right. Yeah. Yeah, me too. <laughs> it felt like a good one too, you know. Well, they, they, well, it's not, and yeah, they're, it's polite, but the truth is it's better just to go, you know, fast and get it over with because when you slow down and speed up, you make more waves. But yeah, you're right. They're being polite. But it, in, in the end, though, they're actually making it worse. Well, if you notice that when that boat passed by, it didn't slow down, it just kept on, it's up on a plane, and there wasn't as much wake afterwards where the boat that slowed down, you know, he was doing it to be polite, but in reality, it actually makes the situation worse. And just trying to get that out so people can understand what's going on. Wow. That one? I'm not sure. It's, I, I couldn't tell you either way, but it does have a Christmas tree look to it, doesn't it?
What my wife's noting here is that that tree looks a lot like a Douglas fir. Uh, the way that the limbs look kind of soft and fluffy. And it's a, it's a pretty tree. And it does look like a Christmas tree. I see something moving right there in front of me. Got him. All right. Uh, yeah. It's a flounder, man. You can catch it. I have to let him go, but it's a good flounder. Wow, look at that sucker. He's a big one. Wow. Oh my God. God, dog. Oh my gosh. He set the net there, yeah. Look at that thing. I got him from there. Oh. All right. Oh, okay. Wow. That sucker is huge. I think this is my biggest flounder ever caught. Oh. Mm. What's the matter? Oh. Oh. <clears throat> Oh yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Wow. This guy is a huge flounder. Okay, it's a perfect. It's a flounder. But we have to release. Not time for okay, okay. He won't open his mouth. There it goes. There you go. Oh, come on, man. Man, he's got tight lips there. Very tight lips. I can't even. Man. Okay. Uh, yeah. Dude, you gonna... I, I want to get you to where I can get you. There you go. He started. Got a little I'm trying. This, I'm just gonna do it like that. You got him? Yeah, I got it. All right. I gotta check how big he is though. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> he didn't want to open that mouth to get that dang fish grabber in there. Mm. 
Ay. Oh, eh. Get wet. About 18 and a half. Maybe not. Good one, but not my biggest one. Wow. Yeah, look at your hand. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh. Ooh. Well, it did give me a good one, though. Huh? <laughs> 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 All right. Hey, I got those towels and stock so uh check out my website and uh, get one they're they're not i mean for what you get it's a good deal um and they're very handy and you need one on on the boat or in the kayak or in the car Whew. Oh man, I can get his picture. I think I will. <clears throat> Those are rare to get a good picture of. Where the hell did he go? Oh, there he is. He's behind the bush there. It's a kingfisher. It's a little bird, but and it, you see them, but they're hard to get pictures of because they run all the time. There we go. All right. Hmm. Yeah, he's too far. I'll try. I'll try. Yeah. There we go. Got him. Got him. Maybe. When do we get a star? Middle of December before we can keep them again. They, they like to migrate. So what happens when they migrate, uh -huh. they get in grouped up together where they're kind of easy to catch. And uh, people catch too many of them. And, and so uh, I guess they, I, I don't know how many years ago, it wasn't too long ago when they started closing flounder season because in Texas, you know, the population had taken a big hit. You know, I remember when we first came down here, I almost never caught a flounder. I got one, remember? Yeah. Big one, boy. Well, you're talking back when Papa Willie used yeah, to take it. Yeah. 
Yeah, back then, yeah, but I'm talking about uh, when we moved down here. Okay. Yeah, like 2009, was it? Yeah, all the way up to 2017. I don't remember catching any. Chris caught a couple out of the bay there and it going through a channel, but they were rare. It looks like they're coming back now, though. Yeah. Ooh, I had another bite. Try reeling a little bit slower. The water might be cold. You know, for for the fish that live up north, the water's not cold. But for these fish, they're like, oh man, yeah, they're they're just like the us. Shoot, fifty degrees. That's cold, man. Heck, it's what sixty-eight, and I got a jack, huh? Those people up in the tropic winds, you know, they walking around in their shorts, man. They're from Iowa. Yeah, summer for them. Yeah. Feels good. <laughs> Last time or Sunday, the water was almost covering that entire log. <sighs> All right, that's a tree. I don't know. I've never seen a tree that big here, but that tree's been here for a long time. I, I, I'm thinking it's rooted in there. Yeah. That's the second. Why would you cut a beautiful big tree like that? Unless the barge people did. Yeah, the water's probably almost two feet lower than what it's been. Yeah. Getting a little closer to the bank, I guess.
the juice again. Yeah, I'll hand it to you. <clears throat> yeah. Black Friday, especial. Stay at home and save a hundred percent. There's no place to go shopping anymore. Hell, the malls are all closed now. It's it's not like it was when I was a kid. Yeah, you're right. They still have those. But they're all they're all scared to to decorate for Christmas because of the of the, of the peer pressure that's out there. Yeah, we still celebrate Black Friday. Maybe I got something there. <clears throat> Ooh, you see that? There it goes. Oh, God, come. Oh. Oh. He hit. Oh. Oh, man. Look at that. It's still over there. He's still over there. <sighs> that fish, I think that was a red fish. He must have got full. He hit my lure twice. That farmer's probably going, how did you get on that side of the dang fence? That one, there's two that are on this side of the fence. The rest are on the others. Really? Yeah. There must be a hole someplace. Ah! 
I get it? I think I got something. Oh, man. He was running towards me. Ah. Must have just had to tell. Ooh, right there. Mm. Oh, that's good. That's in there anyway. There they got shrimp jumping. Oh, something was chasing that shrimp. Big one over there. Right in front of this bush, right in front of us, there's something moving in the water. Right, the one in the bush right there. Yeah. Oh, there he goes. Wow. Oh, you're right there. I love this. Pot liquor, that's what it is. You got something? I got something or I got the... Yeah, uh, you probably got the bottom. Oh, no. See those branches? Yeah. Yeah. You want me to get... Ah! You'll break the pole. If you don't hold it at the handle, you'll break the pole. Sorry. Ugh. Well... Wow. Maybe some fish must drink. <sighs> A lot of people make that mistake. Well, that? Yeah, I watched Chris replace a a rod that somebody had a big fish on and and grabs it halfway up there. They're not made for that. See, something is moving there. Probably the tip of the tree. <laughs> Yeah. 
try to swing that boat up. Uh, are we on the bottom back there? We might be on the bottom. Uh. Wow. Oh, there it goes. Juice yours. <clears throat> yeah, I did. Ooh, ooh, you see that? I don't know if he's still in there or not. Oh man, right on top of him. Oh, dead. Cast over there. Got him. It's a little one, I think. Ah, look at that, man. We got to go back. Yeah. I don't want to be cut out here at dark. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Thank you.
me take you on that journey Take you on a trip Let you see the world, baby, let you see the world Let me take you on that journey Take you on a trip Let you see the world, baby, let you see the world As we're pulling the boat out of the water, my wife is uh, hooking the boat up to the trailer and she stepped on some slime, I guess. Uh, well, it is slippery and there is slime on the boat ramp. But it, she, I thought she might have cracked her head open. I just saw her go down and I was quiet. I didn't hear anything. Kind of scared me, but uh, she did suffer, you know, bruises and uh, she's okay. And told me she was never going to come again, but uh, I'm sure we'll get past it. But I just wanted to let you guys know, when you're on the boat ramp, you got to watch out for the slime, because I've seen many people, and I have more than once done that on the boat ramp. And uh, <clears throat> that'll wrap this up, and you guys have a uh, wonderful evening. <laughs>